In today's video, I'm gonna show you how to trade tokens on Bloom's EVM Telegram bot, which recently had major updates making it faster, improve the UI and UX. It's now available across four major blockchains from ETH to Base, Binance Smart Chain, and Hyper EVM, making it a great all-in-one tool for a seamless and efficient trading experience. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another Crypto Gorilla tutorial. As usual, I'm not a financial advisor. I also have zero control over what happens with this tool. So always do your own research. Special thanks to Bloom for partnering with me for this video. And with that, let's jump right into it. So Bloom is a Telegram trading bot, meaning you are gonna need to download Telegram on one of your devices in order to use it. However, that is also the beauty of a Telegram bot. You could seamlessly use it across desktop, laptop, your mobile device when you leave your house to be able to trade from anywhere all within the same account. So I will put a referral link in the description down below. When you click it, you're gonna land in Telegram upon which you need to do slash start or just click start on your mobile device, at which point it's going to give you a wallet as well as a private key. Now this private key is private. Don't share it with anybody because if they have it, they have access to your money. So store it somewhere safely offline, write it down on a paper, whatever, hide it somewhere. However, I also suggest importing it into your MetaMask, your Rabi, whatever you use by clicking uh, add account or wallet, private keys, and then pasting it here. That way if Telegram is down, if Bloom is down for some reason, you still have access to your money and you're still able to trade. So once your wallet is set up, you're gonna need some money in order to start trading. Now, like we said, there's currently four chains on Bloom EVM. There's ETH, Base, Binance Smart Chain, and Hype. You can send whichever one you want to the wallet that you just created. Or if you want to import your own wallet, you would do slash wallets, and then you would have to import the private keys here. I understand I just told you to keep your private keys safe, but this is all encrypted. And if you wanna use your own wallet, you need to do this. Uh, however, I never use my main in any tool. I always use a burner, but for the case of this video, I'm just gonna use the wallet that they provided. So like we said, uh, to send money to this, you copy your wallet, you go to your centralized exchange of choice, or you go to your decentralized wallet, and you are gonna have to send money to that account by simply uh, inputting an amount, clicking continue, confirming, and it's going to run the transaction. It's very quick. And if we return to our Telegram and we click the refresh button, we see it just updated and I now have more ETH in this wallet to start trading with. Now, let's say I currently only have ETH, but I want to buy a meme coin on Base or Binance or Hype, whatever. You used to have to go to your centralized exchange, make the swap there, and then send it back to your wallet, which takes so much time. And maybe the coin did a 50X in that time. But now what you can do directly in Telegram is just bridge funds from one chain to another. So in order to do this, I would click on bridge. You have to set up a wallet, which I already did, but you just click the set EVM address. You paste the wallet. In this case, I just used the exact same wallet since I only have one. And then you pick the chain you wanna go from. So ETH, you pick the chain you wanna go to. So let's just do base and we click bridge. It's gonna ask me how much I want to send. Let's just do 0 0.01 just for the test. And voila, my transaction has been sent. And if we go back to the uh, start panel, we can see that the money has arrived in my base wallet. So now that we have our wallet set up, we have money in our wallet, we can go ahead and start trading meme coins. So uh, if you already have a coin in mind, you would simply paste the contract address into the input, press enter, and it's going to automatically detect which coin you wanted. Now in the super rare occasion that it's the wrong chain, you can simply swap through with the arrows here. So you see it brought me to base, it brought me to hype, and now Binance Smart Chain. I've literally never had to do this, but I'm just showing you how to do it on the off chance that it happens. And now we are ready to buy. So there's a ton of options here that we're gonna need to set up. The first one is your presets. So mine are probably much lower than yours. I remember when I first downloaded it, it was like 0.5 all the way to 10 ETH, which is a lot of money to be one clipping into a meme coin. So if you want to change these, you would do slash settings. You would click on the chain of choice. So in this case, ETH, you click presets and then the buy presets or sell presets. You can change both. In this case, we're doing buy. And if you click one of these buttons, it's going to allow you to change it. So I would just do that, press enter, and you can see it has changed. So let's repaste our contract and voila, the one ETH 
has become 0.75 ETH. Now, if I click this, it is going to automatically buy. There's no like, are you sure or anything like that? Same thing if I click the uh, X ETH. This allows me to manually set a number that I want to purchase with. The second you press enter, this is going through. So to get it to not happen, I just put a dot and it's gonna be like, hey, please enter a valid amount. But before we purchase, let's just keep going through all of the uh, buttons here. So we have the GUI that you wanna use. This really depends on the market. Like there's no one size fits all that I can give you. However, there are websites you can visit that are gonna show you what GUI is currently at. So even on the high end, GUI is at like 0.25. So with my five GUI here, I have more than enough in order to be competitive against other people. The next thing that you're often gonna change is your slippage. Now there are cases where I set this really high, like if I really wanna make sure my order goes through, especially on a token that's crazy volatile, yeah, I might set it high, like 10, 15, 20%, whatever. In a coin like Rekt, which we're looking at right now, it's a super high market cap. It's not that volatile within seconds. So we can set it really low. So here I'm just gonna put 1%. After that, I always make sure MEV protection is turned on because I don't wanna get sandwiched. And we have a few other buttons like limit orders, which we're gonna look at in a second. So let's go ahead and buy some Rekt. I'm just gonna click on the buy 0.05 and you're gonna see it's automatically going to buy. So as you can see, I have just purchased some Rekt token. Uh, we can see a ton of info here, like how much I spent, what the average market cap is that I got in at, what my current balance is in tokens, as well as what my remaining balance is in my ETH wallet. Now, another thing that happened is it switched us from the buy interface over to the sell interface, which operates very much the same. It's just some of the buttons have changed. So rather than a buy button for exact ETH amounts, we now have sell buttons in percentages. So once again, you can change these in the presets. However, I don't mind these. There's also a button to automatically sell your initials. So let's say the token four and a half X and you want to get your initials out to ride for free, you can simply click the initial button. However, you can also choose to sell a custom amount of percentage or a specific amount in ETH and it's going to do that conversion for you. Cool, now we can also look at the buttons that we didn't look at on the buy side. We have limit orders, which are super powerful. This is what allows you to like walk away from your computer, but still take profits or buy a dip. So on the sell side, if I click limit orders, it's going to uh, allow me to create one. So there's a ton of options here. I can either automatically sell when the dev sells. I can sell when it reaches a certain market cap. So let's say I bought it 10 mil, it goes to 30 mil. Hey, I wanna nuke my bag, but I'm going to bed. You can set based on the market cap. You can also set based on price or after a certain amount of time, but let's just try it with market cap. So in order to do that, we would have to click on a market cap to set it. So I'm just going to put, since this is a really expensive token, I'm gonna to put one bill, but if you wanted to do one mil, you would do it with an M. They give some examples here, but let's just leave one bill. I press enter, it's going to fill that in. If I recall, you also had to set a specific amount. It was like at 1% or something. So I wanna sell my entire bag. I am putting 100%. You can also do the GUI as well as the slippage like we saw on the previous page. But now that I'm happy with this, I'm going to do create limit order and voila, my take profit limit order is now running for the next three days. Now on the opposite end, on the buy side, we can also do this. So if I click limit orders, what's gonna happen here is, let's say I want to buy a dip. I like do some TA on the chart and I'm like, hey, if it reaches seven mil, I think it's gonna shoot back up. I can automatically set up a limit order where it's going to purchase if it reaches down to that level. And I can have multiple uh, limit orders set up at once. So here, if it goes to 100 mil, I want to automatically buy with, I don't know, 0.05 ETH, we press enter, create limit order, and now if it goes down, it's going to automatically buy. Now, if ever you lost this page, you don't know how to get back to it, you just do slash orders. And if ever you forget slash orders, if you just do slash, it shows you all of the commands. But I know the commands for at least these ones, so slash orders, we click on the token because you might have 50 tokens. And voila, we see all of our orders. However, I don't want these, so I'm going to delete them, delete, and now we have no more limit orders. Now we still have our position open, but I lost it. So how do I get back to that? Simple, I just do slash 
positions and voila, I see my position. I can click it. I can go into it again. If you have like 50 different ones, they're all going to be there. You might also have positions on different chains, in which case I would just toggle through with the button. Currently I don't have any. Now there is an option. Maybe I want to sell everything. I would do sell positions. It's going to sell hundred percent of everything I have on this chain. I'm going to click into it. Let's just do a sell so you guys can see it uh, right here. I'm going to do sell hundred percent. And voila, it's sold. If we do positions and go back, I do not have anything left in this wallet outside of my ETH. So that's it for the core functions that you're probably gonna use on a day-to-day -day basis if you are trading meme coins, but there's a ton of extra stuff you can do here. So if we go back to the slash start, you can see there's an AFK mode, which is currently only available on BSC, but this just automatically trades for you when you're AFK. There's also a copy trade mode where you can put a wallet here. Maybe you found somebody who's a really good trader or like a KOL or one of your friends, you can automatically copy trade their wallet. So that's another really cool feature. So there's a ton of different things you can do, but one of my favorites has got to be the Twitter sniper. So what we can do is add a new config and essentially this is going to automatically buy when whoever I'm following on Twitter posts a contract. So in this case, let's just do it for Elon Musk. I'm gonna paste his Twitter. You can see now it's following Elon Musk and we have a few different options. So if he tweets out a contract directly, it's going to automatically purchase. If he replies to a tweet or maybe not even him, right? Maybe an AI, like you're following Grok and somebody tricks Grok into posting a contract address, it's going to automatically purchase it for you. Now, similarly, if Elon maybe retweets something that has a contract address in it, it's going to purchase. And then there's also the OCR, which is when somebody posts an image that has a contract address in it, right? They don't want the bots to be able to copy paste it or like it's really long to type it out. You're able to beat all of those people because you're automatically buying it based off of, uh, this bot reading the image for you. Now we also have some presets we can set like, Hey, don't buy unless it's already at a certain market cap or don't buy if it's past the market cap, maybe they bundled it, they sniped it. And if the tokens at like a hundred million already, you might not want to buy that. We have a few settings at the top, like the amount that you want to buy with your GUI fee, the slippage and max buy count. So max buy count is how many tokens from this account do you want to buy? Maybe somebody's hacked and they're posting like 17 contracts. You don't want to buy all 17. If I put one or two, it's only going to buy the first two that that account posts. So once we're ready, we would turn this on. And then if I go to slash Twitter, you can see I have something active for Elon Musk, right? Uh, green is active and then red is inactive. So I could just toggle it on and off by doing this. And now it is no longer active. And then maybe you don't want this anymore. You would just do delete and confirm. And it is no longer here. We no longer have a task. So that's another really powerful tool. However, on top of all this, Bloom also has their plugin. If you're used to Bloom on Solana, there is a browser extension that is super powerful. And the good news is in the near future, it's also going to be available for their EVM bot. So that's another thing to look forward to. However, another way of making money outside of trading meme coins is to passively make money off of other people making meme coins. And the way to do this is by shilling your referral link for which mine is in the description down below. But to get access to yours, you would do slash referrals. And then whenever you share this link with your friends, with people on Twitter, with whoever, you are going to get paid a portion of their trading fees. And this lasts as long as Bloom is alive. So, you know, this can last you a hundred years and you are just passively making money. So whenever I can, I try to share my links with somebody. Whenever somebody says, Hey, can you send me uh, you know, bloom their Twitter? I send them my referral link. Cause I want to make sure I capture those fees. So one more time, link in the description down below, but that does it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed it and found it educational. If you did be sure to give it a big thumbs up. If you haven't already done so, would you kindly hit that subscribe button, smash that bell notification. Thank you for watching another crypto gorilla tutorial. Peace.